AQA A level physics. This is for thermal physics. It's the fifth video for thermal physics and it's kinetic theory part three. And this is the bit that we're going to be looking at. So PV equals NRT. That's the ideal gas equation, the equation of state for an ideal gas. PV equals NRT. Now PV also equals a third nm crms squared and we know where that came from we had a lot of fun deriving that equation in the last video now looking at these the first thing i'm going to do is say well for one mole so let's change them a little bit for one mole we get pv is a third na m CRMS squared. So N just becomes Avogadro's because it's one mole. Uh, and PV equals RT because it's one mole, so little n disappears. Now, looking at these two equations, you might be having a crazy urge to put them equal to each other. Should we do that? Do we dare? Yeah, let's do it. Let's put them equal to each other and we get that. So a third Na mcrms squared equals RT, which isn't particularly interesting at the moment, but I'm going to fiddle around with it. One thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by three over two. Yeah, and I'm going to bring that Na down to the other side and we get that a half M crms squared equals this thing here, 3RT over 2NA. Now, do you recognize the left-hand side? What's that, a half M CRMS squared? Well, as discussed in the last video, that's the average kinetic energy. So the average kinetic energy equals, and also remember that R over NA is little k. It's the Boltzmann constant. So we get this lovely, simple little equation the average kinetic energy of the particles in the gas equals 3 over 2 kT. Now, why is that an interesting, important equation? Well, basically, average kinetic energy is 3 over 2 kT. So what is temperature? Is temperature how hot something is? Well, the problem there is that how hot something is is subjective. If you're Eric the Eskimo there, then he goes out on this icy day and he says, what a lovely warm day. Uh, if you're Kevin the camel and you go out there in the middle of the desert, you might say, oh, it's a bit chilly today. So it's subjective. What we want is an objective definition of temperature, a scientific definition of temperature. And we've got one here. What is temperature? Well, temperature, the temperature of a gas is proportional to the average kinetic energy of its particles, full stop. And that is objective. We have an objective definition. And basically, the average kinetic energy of the particles depends on one thing only. It depends on temperature. It doesn't depend on anything else because 3 over 2 K is constant. Yeah, average kinetic energy is proportional to temperature full stop remember that this equation is just for an ideal gas let's have a go at this question here uh, the air in the classroom is at 20 degrees centigrade assuming it's an ideal gas calculate the average kinetic energy of the air molecules in the room well we know how to do that now very simply it's just 3 over 2 kt so bung in the numbers 6.07 times 10 to the minus 21 joules. Now, uh, nitrogen uh, N2 has got a relative molecular mass of 28. Oxygen's got a, a relative molecular mass of 32. Which of those particles will be moving fastest in the air? Will they have the same average kinetic energy? Which ones will be moving faster? And the answer is, well, they've got the same average kinetic energy because it's at the same temperature. 
and we know that the average kinetic energy it only depends on the temperature however we know that the nitrogen molecules will be moving faster if they've got the same kinetic energy then the lighter molecules the ones with the smaller mass will be moving faster they'll actually be moving faster by a factor of root 32 over 28 won't they yeah and you should be able to figure out why I said that okay calculate the mass of a nitrogen molecule and then calculate its RMS velocity at 20 degrees centigrade well have a go at that yourself and the answer is three two one there you go so we know the mass of a mole yeah 28 grams so 28 times 10 to the minus 3 divide by Avogadro's that's the mass of a molecule uh, and then kinetic energy is a half mv squared so my CRMS is 2k over m and you will get 511 meters per second and that's the RMS velocity of the nitrogen molecules in the room uh, the RMS velocity of the oxygen ones work that out for yourself and you'll see that that is smaller